Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Stephanie at So Glover Creations, and I am here to do floss tube number three. I think it's three. Crafter's Log. Today's date is February 24th, 2022. <sighs> okay, so I was gonna sit down and start recording this video, and my neighbor texted me and is like, so do you know how to jumpstart a car and I was like uh yeah I think so <laughs> so I'm a little flustered and out of sorts I guess um now my dog is scratching at the door hold on one moment come here Koopy say hello Say hello, Koopy. This is my Cooper. Say hi. Hi. Okay, I'll leave you be. Okay, go lay down. Okay. So, anyways. I am... This is just going to be all over the place. I finally wrote down notes and I'm just gone. It's all gone. Okay, so I will start with, I keep looking down because that's where I am and I got a new camera and it's up there so now I got to train myself to follow the camera. Okay. So I'll talk about February progress um, first. Okay, I did secret stitches. They are done and all gifted away. My best friend finally got hers um, in January when she no, early February when she came down, and we went to the cross stitch cupboard. Um, I lost my train of thought. So I have the video from when I recorded in December of those secret stitches and I will insert that here. Hey y'all, I just wanted to get on real quick and show you some secret stitches that I've been working on. These I've been working on about a month now. Three of them are secret and one of them is a gift, but not secret. I don't think he watches my videos. So, well, I say that, but then I said that about my mom and she totally started following me on Instagram and saw all of the quilt photos. So, oh well, at least I'm not sharing this video until about a month later. So by the time you're watching this, they will have all been gifted and I will hopefully not have ruined the surprise. Okay, so for the first secret stitches, I have this cute little rooster mug rug. My father-in-law has been asking for a mug rug for, I don't know, two Christmases now. <laughs> I made him one a couple Christmases ago and then um, he's been saying, I would like another one, they're so great. So it's a little rooster. Hopefully you can see. That clearly I actually drew the little eye on because I felt like it was missing without an eye so it's fabric marker and I drew that on so that's one secret stitch it's getting that for Christmas and then my mother-in-law I made one of these oh gosh I want to say it was like four or five years ago I started this project and I told her I was going to make eight and I made one and I gave that one to her for Christmas because that's all I could get done before that Christmas. And every Christmas since, I haven't done it. <laughs> so this year is the year. I've got two of them completely finished and then I've got five more that I just have to finish the binding on. You can see. Binding is all, oh, look a little 
thread, I'll have to cut that off. Um, but all of the binding is hand stitched. And then they'll have my tag on the back. And this fabric is really cool. It's got like sparkle, glitter, gold glitter specks, I guess, in it. So those are two, those are more quilting, but um, I do have a actual secret stitch. Okay, this is the secret stitch. It is going to be the Love um, Oxytocin molecule. Um, my best friend and I picked out three patterns each that we knew we would enjoy having. Um, and then we sent them to each other. So I got to pick from her top three and she got to pick from mine. And this is the one that I picked. Um, and she doesn't know, well, she'll know once, when you see this video, she'll have it, hopefully. Um, hopefully I'll be able to give it to her around Christmas time or shortly after. And it'll be fully finished. So I'll include a picture of it fully finished when I go to record the rest of the video. Um, and you can see exactly what it looks like full. And uh, I'm hoping to have it fully, fully finished by the time the next video. So not just finished stitching, but a fully finished object. So that's number three. Okay, so I meant to take a video of this once it was finally complete, but I completely forgot to uh, record a video of it, so I'm going to do a little voiceover. This is the um, Ada wrapped around a um, wood frame that I made, um, sort of like canvas, and I stapled it to the back. And then I made a floating frame to go around it. And I, um, originally I painted it white and I tried to do like the dry brush of the pink on there and it just looked really bad. So I went ahead and did um, pink all the way around and I even attached those little heart lights at the top. Um, and I ended up taking those off. My friend decided she wanted to do like remote controlled LEDs because the one that I the ones that I attached were just um, battery operated and you had to like flick a little switch. So she attached LEDs and this is her video that she sent me. The um, Love Oxytocin molecule, I'll link the pattern for that if anyone is interested. The fourth project is a gift and I've been sharing this on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, my name is the same as here on YouTube. Uh, I go by So Glover Creations. And so this is a little cardinal. It's going to look like a postage stamp. So there's like, you can see it says six cents here and that'll all be backstitched. Um, and then once I get fully finished on this one, I'll show you exactly what it looks like on that too. So I might be in multiple different outfits throughout this video because I'm recording. Today is the 17th of December, so I will hopefully have that done by the next time I record. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection called Love Ornament. So it'll finish as an actual ornament that can be hung on a tree. And here is what the love ornament looked like finished. Um, I did a finishing tutorial for this one. So if you're interested in it, it's on my channel. Um, so you can catch it there. Okay, so my best friend and I did the exchange. That was what I gave her. And this is what she gave me. I love it, Kermit the Frog, but that's none of my business. So cute. So this was one of the ones that I sent her 
um, that I wanted to be able to hang up on my wall and stitch. So I have two fully finished objects for um, fully finished February. I came up with this hashtag while watching, um, oh my goodness, Stitchy Lanka. Um, she was talking about her, I don't know the name for it. I think it's macrame. Um, she was talking about her project that she has had finished for five years now, but hasn't fully finished it. And so I said, Ooh, we should do like a fully finished February. And she said, yes, create it and I'll do it. So I created the hashtag and posted it on Instagram. There's been quite a few people that have done some fully finishes and this one is mine. Here's one of them. I see thread people. This is by Basic Stitchcraft on Instagram and she has these patterns for free listed in a drop box. Um, it glows in the dark. All of the colored uh, floss is all glow in the dark and then all of the white is um, this is glow in the dark sulky. This is glow in the dark DMC, all the white. So I'll insert a picture here of it glowing. So that's that one. And then my last fully finish, I just finished this like 20 minutes ago, right before my neighbor called me. This is the Bats and Booze Stitch Along Fat Quarter Shop. This glows in the dark. My ghost here, he also glows in the dark. And my bats, they're supposed to glow in the dark because it's glow in the dark um, paint, purple paint, but they didn't really glow in the dark. Um, when I was like painting it, testing it. And this has like 8 million coats of the glow in the dark paint on it to make it like a deep purple. So I don't know if maybe that caused it to not glow in the dark, but yeah. So I just finished gluing it. I think it's fully secured now, hopefully, but I'll attach a picture of it glowing in the dark. And then this, um, <clears throat> I got it from Chantel. Chantel? Chantel? Um, 141 Design Company. She makes these backers, um, and they are gorgeous. Gorgeous backers. So it comes, well, the version that I bought, you can buy just the ghost, which has the square, you can buy just the house, or you can buy the ghost and the house with the bats. So I bought the big version. And I'm excited to be able to hang that up. Come Halloween. Well, actually, I might hang it up in here all year round. Why? These glasses. They don't want to stay on my face and they don't want to stay in my hair. Um, I use them mostly for looking at my phone and cross-stitching. So anyways, the ghost and the bats are supposed to glow, and I will insert a picture of that here. Okay. On to whips, because I don't think I have any finishes that haven't been fully finished. The IC Thread People was my most recent finish. Actually, that might not be true. I might have January. I did um, some little stitches by Lizzie Kate. Let's see if I can show you. This is the one that I did. This is January. And I somewhat finished February. I want to add a um, chocolate covered strawberry to it. So I plan on doing that. But I put those away for a little bit. Okay. Before I jump into my whips. 
Um, do you like my sunburn? It's beautiful. We went to SeaWorld yesterday. And we were sitting in this sun watching the dolphin show for like, I think it was like 30 minutes. And I put sunscreen on my son, but I didn't put any on me. And I got, you can't really tell because I'm so white. Um, but I got a sunburn. You can see like the difference because I was wearing sunglasses. But thankfully I don't have like that sunglass line. Okay. I wanted to ask a question before I jump into my whips. Do any of you ever notice that you like gravitate towards a certain outfit for your floss tube? I've made a few now. Um, and every single time I gravitate towards this one shirt and I bought it from Missouri Star Quilt Company. It says finished is better than perfect. I wore it in my first video and ever since I'm like, oh, I want to film a floss tube today. Let me put this shirt on. And then I'm like, wait, I wore that the first time I made a video. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> wear that. So anyways, it happened last time I made a video. And then this morning I pulled it out and was like, wait, I, I can't wear that one. It's like comfort clothing or something. Like you wear it, you feel like more comfortable, I guess. I've always been one to wear like jackets, um, even when it's like 90 degrees in the summertime. Um, but I've just always worn a jacket. So like comfort clothing is a huge thing for me. So in case you were wondering, I've tried to wear the same shirt for every single video I've created so far. It's been wonderful. I really need to get a uh, variety in my wardrobe. So, whips. I have started a lot more whips than I expected. Oh wait, I have one more finish. I didn't bring it in. I didn't bring it in. Okay, I decided to, to join the Plan Renard where everybody kind of like, they get a piece of the pattern. So this year it's a little fox and they're gonna make him do like a dance. Um, so they have you cross stitch one out of the 200 photos that they need for making him move. And I finished mine, so I'll show a picture of it. Put it right here on my hand. Um, so that was my other finish. I forgot about that one. Okay, on to whips. I'm doing a Mill Hill Monday with Mad Morty and the Nightmare Before Stitch Miss. Um, we're both, we're all doing this. See it? This is my progress on it. I have finished all of the stitching and the back stitching, so now I just have to do the beading. And that'll be next Monday. And I put it on my little pumpkin floss. Thingy. So this I got this at the at the retreat near my house, um, which is where I met Carolyn from um, Carolyn Stitches on um, YouTube and a Fiber Freak on um, Instagram. Gosh, my brain is like. I'm not with it anymore. Okay, so that's one whip. We're doing Mill Hill Monday with um, DNA Geek Crafts and Stitchy Cat Lady. They're doing a different Mill Hill kit, but they're they're all like Halloween, fall themed. Um, I really want to do the one that DNA Geek Crafts Carrie is doing. Um, she's got like a little pumpkin. It's like a series. Uh, and I really want to do that one, so I'm probably going to end up getting some more Mill Hill kits. That's beyond my abilities at the moment. Okay. Apparently Siri says she can't get me any more Mill Hill kits. Okay, so... <clears throat> I didn't get that. Could you try again? I'm going to need her to stop. Yeah, I should put this on, like, sleep mode. 
she's on recording mode. Check out my kiddo. Okay, he's still sleeping. I'm recording this during nap time, so um, I keep checking the monitor to see how he's doing. Okay, for whips. I've started quite a few whips, as some of you know from following me on Instagram. <clears throat> I was only doing like one or two whips at a time, and now I've kind of graduated um, into doing way too many. I can't keep up with my own whips. So, first one I'll show is my... Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. This is my bag that my grandma gave me. So this is my engagement photo. This um, is a photo of us in Yosemite. Right now this is like the just the trees um, in the background. It has, let's see, One hundred and twenty thousand stitches in it. This is on an eighteen count, easy count, um, whatever, easy, easy count, whatever it's called. Anyways, that's what it looks like so far. I really enjoy stitching on this one. Um, I love having the scroll rod so that I can do like the whole thing. That's the plan: is to do this whole piece. And then move down and then move up. Yeah, move down and then move up. So that all of the weight would be down here with the heavy sti heavier stitches at the bottom. Not that it really matters when you're doing it on a scroll rod, but I also realized I probably rolled them the wrong way. because so I think you're supposed to roll it inward so that it protects the stitches instead of it being like exposed on the bottoms or on the rods or whatever, so I'll flip it when I move it. Next, I have uh, Oh, okay. So I have my glow in the dark piece. This is a 28 count glow in the dark linen. So if you don't know or haven't been following, I received this fabric from 123 Stitch and was kind of surprised because I ordered an even weave and I was like, wait, this doesn't, this isn't even at all. There's these big, like, bulky pieces of fabric, which I now know are slubs. Um, and I just was like, what am I, I don't know what I'm stitching on. This was the first time I've ever stitched on anything higher than 18 count, so I was like, I don't, I don't know. So I found out that this is actually linen, and they sent me a new piece of even weave. Oh, and apparently I've already gotten something on it, so I'm gonna have to wash it before I start it. Anyways, this is the glow in the dark even weave. I'll include a picture of it glowing um, side by side so you can see. But this is what I've done so far. I have to move the frame, the scroll, uh, the Q snap, so that I can start working up into the flower at the top. So that's next. Um, this is a pattern by I can never remember off the top of my head and I have to like look it up it's all my notes hold please okay this is galaxy rose it is by Alaton embroidery it's 108 stitches by 162 stitches high and I'll include a picture of it glowing because I like glow in the dark, so obviously. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> and it has some amazing colors in it. They, they did a really good job of blending the colors. The next I have is the Chronicles of Narnia. This is a sow by the Stitching Book Club, or Stitching Book Club. Um, I'm doing it on white opalescent. I don't know if you can even really see opalescent. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. Anyways, this is this is it. Um, this like how they um blended this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't normally like to do sales, mystery sales, because I don't know like if I'm gonna like the end result. Um, but I bought this one and I was like, I'll give it a try. And then they released this first part of the um, pattern and I was like, even if it, if the rest of it I don't like, I am really going to enjoy just having the name because it's really pretty. So, and I just have like a little Chronicles of Narnia banner if I don't like the rest of it, but I'm sure it'll be great. The rest of the, um, the rest of the patterns that they've done are pretty spectacular. And if I forget anything to men, if I forget to mention some things, just ask me and I'll give you all the information. This is, um, <clears throat> sorry, this is out of stock. The pattern, um, they only had 15, hundred patterns available the copyright um that the copyright allowed so they're not going to be offering that anymore but you never know they may increase it and never say never so this is my project bag for the rainbow sal really cool. I really like it. And the zipper is also um, rainbow pastel. Can you see that? There, that kind of better. Okay. okay. So I made this bag for me and then I made one with like teal for um, Nerdy Needle Design Company, Deb. Um, she's been so supportive and just so sweet. So I wanted to do something kind for her. This is my rainbow cell. This is um, Twisted Rainbow. Actually, this is Twisted Band Sampler pattern with the Twisted Rainbow Sampler colors. So I'm doing it a little backwards. I bought the two pack. I bought the two pack in the cross stitch version and then I decided I wanted to do the specialty stitches version so I bought the um, two pack in that as well and I'm just using the color scheme from the rainbow and doing the band sampler pattern. So these are specialty stitches here. They're so fun. I actually kind of liked them maybe a little bit more than doing the cross stitch which is saying something. I started to do the cross stitch, the next band is, so, okay. <sighs> Let me slow down and start over. Cross stitch for one band, okay? And then specialty stitches for another band, and then cross stitch, and then specialty stitch, and then cross stitch, and so on and so forth, all the way down through the rainbow. So, I started to do the Next band of cross stitch here. Hold on, my dog. Both of them wanted in now. Okay, so I started to do the next um, band of the cross stitch here, and being that it's 
linen. This is a um, 32 count Belfast linen. It's the first time I've ever used 32 count. And it's a little difficult for me to see the holes because it's on black fabric. And because typically I get to work on it at night. Um, so I was counting down. I had to do three stitches away and into the fourth stitch. So I went one, two, three. Okay. And then I put in my first stitch. Well, I didn't get a full three down. So it was more like two and a half. And I just started stitching. And then I was like, oh, dang, it's really close to these stitches up here. Maybe I miscounted. And sure enough, I miscounted. So I had to rip all of those stitches out. And in the process of ripping them out, I broke my needle. I noticed it was getting like a little warped. So I was like, okay, let me just bend this a little bit, try to make it straight again. No, it went. You like my sound effects? <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. Um, that's all that really matters in life. So that I find myself funny. All that matters in my life, I guess. Okay, now if I can get this back in the bag. So that's where I'm at with that in my rainbow bag. <clears throat> okay, and then the last whip that I have. Oops, sorry, Cooper. I just stepped on you. Sorry. This is going to be my glow in the dark comparison. So I started to do this comparison. I started to do this comparison and I put in one strand of the Krennic. This is a glow in the dark pink. Oh man, that's really washing me out. Washing this whole thing out. Can you see? There. I put in one strand for this little heart and it was really thick. And I was, my thought was that I was going to do one strand, two strand, three strand, four strand of each of the different colors. And I'm realizing that I'm not going to be able to do four strands of the number four on 16 count. It's just, it's not going to happen. So I kind of put it like on hold um, until I figure out how I want to rearrange it. I might work on that this weekend. But I bought some, this is Kranich, just the white, number four. Focus. Cover my face. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's Kranich number four. In color grapefruit. Um, I also bought, okay, I'll save that for the end. Um, I got some silky white, which they're in my haul, which is over there. So, I think that, oh, um, last one is ARMY, Realm of Middle Earth, R-M-E, so I'm calling it ARMY. This is how far I've gotten. My whip go for February, here, I'll leave it here. My whip go for February has been has been um, to do a thousand stitches on this, and I don't remember how much I've gotten done. Hold on, let me look. 787 tent stitches. So it's really not a thousand. It's not, it's not a thousand and it's not close to a thousand yet because I plan to do 2,000 tent stitches. Um, I don't like 25 count. I feel like the coverage is not going to be great. 
So I'm debating on doing a 32 count, two over one tent stitches, but I don't know if that's unrealistic. Let me know if that's unrealistic. Um, I bought a 32 count, easy count, like the gridded fabric um, from Mystic Fabrics. Um, and then I guess I can like see when it comes, if I like it or not. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, so that's on my whip go for February. Um, two and five were called in January which was Start Twisted's uh, band sampler and, not two and five, two and 19. So two was Start Twisted band sampler, 19 was Start Thread People. Those are done. Well, Twisted Sampler has been started, Thread People is done, done. Um, five and 17 were called for February, RME, which is Realm of Middle Earth, and Start Sparkle. So I went to Start Sparkle, and I bought this fabric, this um, up here, this like roll of black. I bought that um, to put it, to put Sparkle on it. Let me see if I can find a picture of Sparkle. I mean, I could insert it, but it's easy enough just to show you on my tablet. Okay, so. Says, your sparkle is not defined by the darkness other people see. And I just really like that. I think it's a good reminder for us that even though we do and everyone does, have a piece of darkness that our lives are not defined by that and I want that on my wall so that is by um oh gosh now I'm gonna forbidden fiber company made that pattern so that's on my whip go to start I have what five days to get it done oh anyways I bought fabric for it okay it's up there I bought it and she said when I was buying it that shipping would cost a little extra because the fabric comes rolled up. And I was like, okay, well, why not just like fold it and stick it in the mail? Well, I had purchased needlepoint canvas, which is really hard. Hold on, I'll grab it. So anyways, this is what it looks like. It's got this really pretty, I really wanted to do um, black sparkly fabric for it. <laughs> My goodness. My breath just caught and I had a cough. Anyways, so it's ooh, very thick, like plastic canvas. And so I went to start prepping it and was like, the heck what did I buy so I looked at the card 18 count black opal deluxe mono if you don't know what that is let me let me teach you from my personal mistakes it is counted canvas like needle points so you put this on spreader bars and tack it on I could probably still do the the pattern that I wanted on this but I'm not going to 
I decided I'll save that if I ever decide I want to do a counted canvas project and I'll put it on that. So that's what my February Sparkle Whip Go was supposed to be. I just ordered more black fabric, which just came. So that's in my haul. And I haven't fully kitted it up yet. Okay. I feel like this, I'm just taking forever today. Where are my notes? Okay. So, oh, I forgot to mention I'm doing this, the Twisted Band Sampler Sal with um, Alara, Mrs. Stitches, and my best friend is doing it with me too. Her name is Leah. And she's doing the band sampler in the called for colors, but she's doing it on a white opalescent fabric. It's really pretty. Okay. So before I get into haul, because I know a lot of people don't really necessarily want to see the haul. Um, I went to the fabric store with my best friend, Leah, and um, Jasmine. She is one of the stitchy friends that I met um, at Panera. Well, actually, we met at the Cross Stitch Retreat and then um, started doing Thursday night stitching at Panera, which is tonight. Um, so... We went down there and I have a lot of haul. So before I jump into that, I wanted to do shout outs. One of the things that, I, I don't know how to put this. Um, I, when I was on Instagram, solely on Instagram, which I love Instagram. One of the things that I felt was missing was like the connection. You get to see people's projects and pieces, which I absolutely love, but it, there feels to be like a disconnect. So you don't get the community aspect um, with just seeing people's like whips that you do when you are on floss tube. So I started a floss tube because I wanted to have that sort of connection with people, but also um, like watching everybody's floss tubes has been like overwhelming one <laughs> has been so overwhelming and two it's been like kind of like that bridge between people that I interact with on Instagram so I did a survey not a survey I did like a little poll on Instagram it was probably a month ago Maybe more. Because I think I wanted to mention it in my last video, but then I forgot. Um, I did a poll on Instagram, and I asked how many of the people on Instagram would like a shout-out on my floss tube. These are people that don't have a floss tube, at least not yet, um, but would like to have a shout out. So these are people that are strictly on Instagram. They're not on floss tube. They're strictly on Instagram. The first one is a stitches stuff. Amazing projects. I will show you some. She just passed her driver's test. Um, anyways, as I like pull up her stuff. She has a lot of fun projects she's working on right now. She's doing the um, Serial Killer Sal. So that's that one. And she's doing this, um, this logo. Sorry, my nose is itchy. It's like something about being on Instagram or being on YouTube that just automatically makes my nose itch. I think it's being on camera. Maybe it's a nervous thing. And then she's also doing the um, horror horror movie sal. So she's got a lot of fun things 
on hers. She does a lot of salves. Oh, yay, Java Girl Stitches got her plus two back. Okay, I probably need to get off Instagram while I'm on this, while I'm doing this section, because I've, I'll just never be able to focus. The other one was slamming the screen door. She is on Instagram. She does some stitching. She does some quilting. So she's got a lot of fun things on here. Good. Oop. Good mix of that is not her. <laughs> That's a floss tuber that she's watching. Um, she's got a lot of good mix. So if you like cover my face, doesn't want to focus. Here go my glasses again. This is going to be the titled the one where my glasses don't stay on my face. Anyways, um, great projects by her as well. The other two, Cross Stitch Create. Okay. Create. Claire. She's doing the Chronicles of Narnia style with me. Or not with me, but like we're both doing it. Nobody does. <laughs> Let me shut up. Please. <laughs> I was going to say nobody does styles with me, but that's not true. She's got a lot of fun things. So go, check, go check out her Cross Stitch Create. And then the last one. Actually, there's two more stitchy. Stitchy Linda. Does not have a floss tube, but has a bunch of fun. I don't know why I can't get this to focus. Maybe because it's like from my phone. I'll try to insert some pictures, I think. <clears throat> or maybe not. Depends on how lazy I am. Okay, so those are four. It's um, a stitches stuff, slam in the screen door, cross stitch create, and stitchy Linda. So when I did the poll, I asked who would like to have a shout out um, that's on Instagram and not on floss tube, and then who are some new floss tubers. So um, one is cross stitch with Danny. She watched my video and um, where I talked about how floss tube can be pretty overwhelming. Um, not really sure where to start. So I said in there, my tip was find someone that you like following on Instagram and then watch their video, see who they shout out and then go from there, watch their videos. Don't watch the, the newest video of every single person that you want to watch. Watch the newest video, see if you like their content, and then go back and start from a few videos back or start from the beginning, whatever you feel comfortable with. Because otherwise, if you start with the newest video, every single floss super that you think you might like, your brain will explode. Mine exploded. I got so mixed up. <laughs> Funny story. I watched um, Stitch Man Darcy's video, and this is gonna make me look like an ass. I watched his video. It was the, the one year anniversary, and I thought that Chris Cross Stitch was his wife. I was like, oh, they said a special guest. It must be his wife. Like, no, guys. And I, t I told the coven, I was like, is that person Stitch Man Darcy's wife? And they all laughed at me. I mean, rightfully so. But I saw the person and I was like, wow, the hair is perfect. It was like so sh silky and shiny. I was like, it's got to be like his wife wearing a mustache because the mustache was too perfect. Anyways, I, I 
made a fool of myself and completely embarrassed myself. So don't be me. Don't get overwhelmed with watching a million floss tubes. Just don't, don't be me. That's all I say. That's all I can say because you'll probably embarrass yourself and then you'll probably tell the embarrassing story online for everyone to see and I'm sure I'm, people are gonna hate me because Chris Cross Stitch is amazing. And everybody loves the channel. Anyways, okay. So, Cross Stitch Danny and I were talking. Cross Stitch with Danny on Instagram. And she was like, I think I want to start a floss tube, but I don't know because it's kind of overwhelming. Um, and so we left off with she's going to start a channel. Or she has a channel, but it's not floss tube. So she's going to start making floss tubes. I don't think that she's made her first one yet just talking about it. Okay, so anyways, she's gonna be a new one. Um, the other one that, the other one that I wanted to shout out was Maple Stitches. She's on Instagram and also on Flosstube. She has a couple videos out on Flosstube. Really fun to watch. She's in Florida as well as me, so that's cool to be able to see another Floridian. This is this video is a hot mess. It's like my brain is here and then gone the next. Um, so go watch Maple Stitches. Cool. Um, okay. <clears throat> Other people that have shouted me out. Mary from the Daydream Stitcher mentioned to me on her channel. Uh, K.E.B. Creations, Karen, um, mentioned me in her uh, video about fully finished February. So she has actually participated. And I feel like I like talking about everybody else's stuff <laughs> more than I like talking about mine. Um, she did fully finished February and finished I think two pieces now here's one so cool she finished a pillow and then this one it's a piece that she designed and she finished it in a frame <clears throat> so I thought that was really cool and when she mentioned me, I was watching her video and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was pretty excited. Okay. Um, the other one was Alara. We have been talking about project bags on the side. Um, and that'll kind of segue into other, um, into my haul. But we have been talking about project bags on um, and like running ideas past each other and like, oh, do you, do you like this idea or do you think we should do this or anyways. So project bags, I made the, the rainbow heart one and then I made this one. So it's got my, it's got some haul in it and I made the band a little thicker on this one, which I like the bigger band, but I think I want to attach it a different way. Right now, just kind of like it's sewn under and then flipped up and sewn over, which is fine. Um, it just makes it kind of bulky. So I was thinking of trying something new with it, with a um, handle. And I also want to do like a longer strap so I can make a bigger bag and carry it like a crossover. And I was thinking thick, like guitar strap thick. Um, so, yeah. That's my project bag. Some haul. I got black 18 count Ada for my um, sparkle pattern. I have also made a clutch that matches. It's got the same fabric. My project bag and this 
10 snaps, it has the floss catcher and the eight Lino holder, and then snaps closed. Some other fun things. I'm going to be doing a stitch along with Carolyn from a Fiber Freak. We're gonna do Let's Talk Stitching. My hands-on design, this is my first hands-on design pattern. And I also bought Let's Talk Quilting. So, I got these two. We're gonna do the stitch along, the Let's Talk Stitching together. And I got black fabric for that. <clears throat> Golly, my throat is like. So that was a pattern that I bought. And I um, just bought the floss for that from Joann's during their sale. So <sighs> Red Bull. This might be number two. Hold on, let me check on my son. Okay, he's still sleeping. Cool, cool, cool. Some other things. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a mess. Okay. I do glow in the dark projects. So if you knew me, you know I like glow in the dark. We've just decided we're gonna do my son's room a theme. He's two and a half now, almost two and a half, a month shy. And his room has been white. We haven't touched it. I've kind of been waiting to see what he likes. And now we've just decided we're gonna get him a rocket ship bed. And we're gonna do we don't know yet if we're gonna like paint the entire room dark or maybe just a black ceiling and do like stars up there, glowing the dark stars or what. Anyways, this is what made me think of that. This is glow in the dark fabric. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of it glowing here. So I'm gonna make a project bag out of this and probably a clutch to match it. I think I bought a half yard of each, so it should be enough. And then I got this one. <clears throat> and it also glows in the dark, all of this, all of the white on it glows in the dark. So, two new project bag projects that I'm gonna work on. Pretty excited so that I can have something to hold my glow-in-the-dark pieces. Okay, so I'm going to talk about, actually first, I bought this pattern. And I didn't realize I bought it in paper and I'm, I don't typically like working off paper. Let's see if. Um, so, so, <laughs> so, okay. I, I'm so ridiculous. Uh, um, I bought this pattern and I don't like working off paper. So what I did was I purchased the digital and I'm going to give this one away, I think. So I'll probably do a giveaway on my Instagram just for this pattern. Who knows when, because I'm such a bad, I'm bad at work. Lord have mercy if I could talk today. I am bad about procrastinating. So I'll do this giveaway eventually. Next I'm going to talk about haul from the cross stitch store and that might be it. This is a glow in the dark. It's a 32 count even weave and all of the stars glow in the dark. I'll add a picture here. What that looks like it's really cool. <clears throat> I was kind of surprised. They also had um, Glow in the Dark Ghosts, which I was very tempted but did not buy. If it's still down there when I go back, I might be picking that up too. And they gave me this little pattern. It's, let's see if I can show you the picture without showing you the actual pattern. 
I'm sorry for all the crinkling. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like for making a purchase. I purchased that and I purchased a grab bag. I purchased two grab bags, but I gave one to a friend because it was 18 count and I didn't, I didn't like the fabrics that came in it. So I just gave it away to her. This is a 32 count linen and most of it's like little remnant pieces. Um, 32 count linen. And this is a 32 count vintage Tiffany. I think it's by Steph. Little piece, little blue. It says Steph on it. So I'm, a, I'm thinking Stephanie's fabrics. Not positive. Um, this is a 36 count called Kermit. These are all just like little remnant pieces. A 32 count Lugana. I don't know what that says. DFP Mercedes maybe. And then there's like two little pieces. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Find a project for them. And this just says 32 count do not wash JM. So, I'm not sure what that means. Well, I mean, do not wash is pretty obvious, but I don't know what JM is. So, if you know, feel free to teach me. Okay, so that was in the grab bag. I also bought this fabric, hand painted specialty fabric. Crossed Wing Collection. So, it's really cool. Each piece is hand painted and an immersion in a dye bath. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm going to do that do for that yet, but I am pretty excited. The other thing that I did, I was looking for a black um, opalescent fabric for my rainbow stitch along. And I couldn't find any anywhere. So I picked up a piece of white opalescent fabric and I decided to dye it. And that's what this is. When I dyed it, I realized that this opalescent becomes like kind of greenish. And it was like really sparkly. So I'm glad I bought a test sample because if I would have bought like a big piece of it, I would have been kind of sad too. No, I mean, it's pretty, but I didn't want it for the rainbow sampler. So I just decided to do a regular black. This is a 32 count even weave. It was white and now it's black. And I found a pattern um, by Stitch Rovia. They have like the galaxy, um, it's like four galaxy patterns in one. And so I'm gonna do one of those on this. So that's that. And then I got this, it's a thread straightener. So I put my things on bobbins and um, if you ever get like the little kinks, in your floss, um, you can wrap it around this and it takes the kink out. It's like a little, um, like a little piece of acrylic with, it kind of looks like one of those um, pencil grips. That's what it feels like. And it's just over the acrylic. So you can just wrap it around there and it's supposed to make your floss straight. So I bought this and it came in a two pack. So I might give one of these away in my, um, in my, 
Instagram giveaway. So I made it to um, 1,500 followers on Instagram, which is like mind blowing. So I'm gonna do a giveaway. Again, with the procrastination, I know. Gotta do it. I'm thinking I'll probably add one of these in there. And the last thing I got was twin pointed quick stitch needles. So once I get my stand from Dubco, I'm going to try this two-handed needle thing. I've never done I've never tried it before, but apparently just pull it up and stick it back down and then pull it down and stick it back up. I look like I'm milking a cow. So that's that. I also got some glow in the dark wonder fill thread for my glow in the dark project bags. And I got some glow in the dark sulky, which where did I put those? I have no idea where I put them. I'll insert a picture of it glowing. It was glowing during the daytime. Um, I pulled it out of the shipping package and it was like in my car. So it was still daylight, but it wasn't dark. It wasn't super bright, but it wasn't dark. So, but it was still glowing and my son was like, oh my gosh, cool, how cool. So I have a picture of him holding it and I'll share that picture here. Okay. 52 minutes in and I haven't even done any life stuff. So what's new? What's happened over the last month? Last time you had that extremely detailed um, story. So I'm sure you probably are like, no, it's there. I don't have anything like that. So that's good. Um, went to the store, my friend, you heard about the backstory with that. Um, we did our exchange and went to the cross stitch store. I've gotten to attend a few of the Thursday night stitches stitching at Panera and I get to go again tonight so I'm pretty excited to see them. By the time that you watch this it probably won't be Thursday because I'm I doubt I'm going to be able to edit this video and get it up before I go. Um Other than that, life is kind of boring. Well, I went to SeaWorld, obviously, so that's not boring, but I haven't been doing much. Um, we did potty training. That's something. We did potty training with my two-year-old. Um, he is, I think it's safe to say that he's fully potty trained. Knock on wood. Um, <gasps> sorry. Come here, Cooper. Come here. Sorry, it was mommy that knocked. I knew I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It was mommy. I knocked. I knocked on the wood. I'm sorry. We um, potty trained him. I think it's safe to say that he's fully potty trained. Do you want to go out? Stop. Um. He has had an accident one time when we went for like a full day trip um but yesterday he didn't have an accident at all and we were out pretty much all day <clears throat> Shh. Shh. so that was good um I had to let the dogs out because they were getting antsy since I knocked on the wood. Um, so I think he's fully potty trained now. Um, that was a lot of the reason that we, well, that's not entirely true. That's, I was going to say that's a lot of the reason why we didn't go anywhere, but I really just don't like to go anywhere anyways. Pretty much a recluse nowadays. We don't like to leave the house because why? Why? Father. Come here, Cooper. 
trying to keep them quiet so that my son can still take his nap. I'm very lucky that he's still asleep right now. He'll probably be waking up soon though. So that's, I think it. I wrote down all these notes. Let me just go over them one more time. Um, the only other thing that I had was Wipco future plans. And I don't think that Jess, Jessie does stuff. I don't think that they've called the numbers for Wipco yet. Hold on, let me check real quick. Let me not make a status post. Sorry, I'm going to Wipco 2022 Facebook group. Let's see if. Oh, she did. Okay, so for March 15 and 21 have been called. So that is fully finished book. And what else did I say? 21. A new start. Cool. So I did something a little different. I have trouble finishing things. So one of the things that I did for my Whipgo board was I put to fully finish certain pieces that I haven't done yet that I want to get done. Um, I put them on my Whipco board. So fully finished book, which is by Witchy Stitcher. Um, I'll insert a picture of it and a new start. So I get to do a new start, which is probably going to be my Stitch along with Carolyn. Just more reason to start it. Not that I needed a reason, but sometimes I have trouble like starting a project. So I'll like kit it up and get it all ready, but then I won't actually put the stitches on it. Um, <clears throat> it's been a little bit better lately, but for the most part, it was like I would only work one project at a time, which is fine. But lately, I've been wanting to start new things so I have more variety um so I'm excited new start and to do fully finish of book so I think I put fully finish my gamer yep fully finished gamer I need to like amend some of the stuff that I put on here because I've already like it says start engagement photo because I was putting that one off for a really long time. Um, that's already done. Um, fully finished bats and booze, that's already done. So I want to put things that like will encourage me to start doing something that I wouldn't normally do unless I was having some sort of accountability. And the Whipgo has provided a little bit of accountability, but I still like, like for January, it said to start um, Twisted Band Sampler, and I didn't start it until February because I didn't have the fabric. And then um, my Realm of Middle Earth is on there quite a few times because I want to get more stitches put in, but yeah, it's a beast. And it's all like browns. So as much as I want to do it, I don't want to do it. If you know what I mean. So. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Life stuff I told you about. So I guess that's it. Cheers, Red Bull. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I hope you sew in love. Do everything that you can with love. And it'll make the world a better place. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. 
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.